but before a honeymoon you must have a wedding. And if you want a wedding, you can, uh, if you like, ask the help of Miss Heather Jenner and Miss Mary Oliver, who run a London marriage bureau. The letter is a fair example, and it serves to illustrate the thousands that the fair marriage makers actually receive. This writer's the perfect secretary, and a slip, we shouldn't wonder. The principals confer. An acknowledgement is sent. And a few days elapse while the search goes on. The perfect secretary's details are entered on a card. Naturally, we've altered the name and address. The lady who wants to be registered as a prospective wife is on record, and now that everything's in order, the card is duly filed. Every day, these Cupid's laborers run through the files to see if the requirements on one card fit the requirements on another. And, would you believe it, these do! One of the parties is telephoned and the other written to, and after two exciting days, the perfect secretary arrives. Goodness knows what thoughts are racing through her mind as she pretends to read. Will you come in now? The great moment has arrived. Will he be a fat man who walks with a lisp and plays the linoleum? She's received by the principals, and then enter Lamb. Meredith, we're in. She sees him. He smiles. She smiles. They all smile. It's love at first sight. They shake on it. Then he steps on it. A few more days and they're in the park. She's got his arm. He can't get away now. And, well, you know the rest. That stuff that looks like rain isn't. The prospective wife is now a real one. Goodbye, good boy. And they're off on their honeymoon. The marriage bureau has done another good day's work. But what's romance to the parties concerned is business to these enterprising young women. So while they're seeing what else is on the cards, we want to introduce that illuminating illusionist, Robert Harvey.